So I feel like last night your person was feeling very sad about your connection. They are missing you. They fear loss. Um, they fear your lives like parting ways. And there's a heaviness I'm picking up within your person, a sadness, a fear as well. So let's dive deeper into this. Death. So yeah, fear of an ending of this connection, but it's not an ending, it's a death and a rebirth, it's a transformation. For some of you, there's some sort of changes that could be happening within your connection or the circumstances surrounding your connection, and an immense heaviness and a fear, anxiety is what I'm picking up from your person. They want to come forward, you know, with these roses here. They want to come forward. They want to create a magnificent new beginning with the sun rising above the mountains in the background. We have the Knight of Cups. They have deep feelings for you, deep love, deep romantic feelings. This person is fantasizing about you all the time. They desire to follow their heart. They feel a lot of chemistry, a lot of electricity with you. Um, you make them feel incredibly attractive. They're incredibly attracted to you. Um, you make them feel confident, alive, euphoric, excited, joyful, aroused. They feel immense love. And they want more of this decay. There's a fear um, coming up within this person's heart for some of you. You could feel this in your own energy. You could feel this in your own heart chakra. Energy coming from this other person. They just want to embrace you. They want to be closer to you. They want to be with you. I was just going to look at this deck and I saw needing you at the bottom of the deck. Needing support. Feeling scared, stressed. Needing comfort. Safe sanctuary. Reassured. They want this reassurance. They want to get closer. Look, reaching out. Um, they're going inwards a lot for guidance. They're thinking about how to get closer to you. You're both working as a team on this profound soul level, okay? Yeah, reaching out and strength. How are they feeling? They feel lost without you. They, they feel like they need you, okay? Restlessness. Some of you are really picking up on this. They want to heal this connection with this healing symbol here. Um, they feel, with this like compass here, they, they feel so magnetically drawn to you. This is a one. So there is a new beginning that is going to occur. A death, but it makes way for some sort of transformation here. But feeling very restless. I really feel like many of you are sensing this very powerfully. We have the five of pentacles. Yeah, feeling left out in the cold. This is what they are fearing. For some of you, they may be feeling this. This is darkness. Thinking like worst case scenarios, the heaviness of all of this surrounding them. They feel wounded, heartbroken. They don't want to be alone. They feel like lonely without you. They feel alone, like with all of these buildings here, there may be a lot of people surrounding this person, but nonetheless, they still feel alone. They only feel deeply connected with you, like you really understand them. It's like your person can't concentrate. They're feeling very sad, maybe even moved to tears. They're thinking about you constantly, taking this alone time. Um, they just want to be with you. It's like they're struggling with a lot of anxiety um, and feeling misunderstood with the people surrounding them. But you and your person could be in a physical separation. They they feel that you really, really understand them, okay? You are like the light in their life. Challenged, yeah. They're going through some sort of challenges here, okay? This is really affecting their mind. Uh, Nine of Wands normally shows the guy with a bandage around his head. 
um, strong, brave, they're anxious, uncertain, um, yeah, a lot of anxiety, but they're, they're hanging in there, they're holding in there, okay? I feel like this is someone who is suffering in silence, but they really feel like they want to come close to you and um, tell you about what's going on with them, but it's like they feel isolated and they can't speak to the people around them because they won't understand. And a lot of this is to do with their immense transformation within since meeting you, because this is a very divine love. And so they, they're they going through immense awakening and they're feeling out of alignment with a lot of people um, around them. Yeah, intense. I do feel like some of you are picking up on this in your heart chakra, feeling their energies. This love has really opened their heart, okay? Look, all of these are hearts. This deck, it isn't all hearts by far, but these three that have come out are hearts. Um, you've activated their heart, the portal. You are the lock and key together to open this portal into the higher dimensions. And this person's profoundly experiencing this immense shift, okay? Everything between you is on another level. It's amplified, profound, immense, heightened. It holds much deeper meaning. Um, it's otherworldly. Opening heart, this is a sacred love. It's the journey home for you both. Courage, there's ego death. We had the death card. Um, moving beyond duality, inner child healing, awakening, self-love, following that heart compass. Yeah, like I was saying, powerful inner guidance leading them towards you. But they could be in some other kind of situation, maybe a marriage. And it's challenging. Yeah, that indecision in the dark. The angels are trying to guide this person. But look, it's like they're hiding behind this tree in the darkness, having a lot of anxiety, stress, negotiation. This is like that two of pentacles, which I just noticed at the bottom of this deck. Stressed, burdened, overwhelmed, confused, afraid, avoidant. Um, feeling unstable. This is your person trying to balance a lot of things, juggle a lot of things, maybe feeling pulled um, in two directions here. Like their false self and their true self that is awakening. And this is them feeling all over the place. Temperance, your hearts are merged as one. The universe has brought you together. They know that this is a destined connection, a destined love. They know that so much more is unfolding between you both. And the magician, they want to create this, okay? They feel much more empowered. They're remembering their true soul self. This is self mastery. Working with energies, energies of what have really, really been activated between you both. Them knowing who they are. They feel unrecognized. It's like they feel unrecognized by the, the people in this village around them. But you see them, you understand them. There's an affinity. Your hearts are as one. But they're stressed because of these other circumstances or just fears of losing you. They're going inwards, thinking how to get closer. They want this balanced exchange of this love. They want to give you everything. They feel like they receive this absolute abundance of love and understanding from you. They feel fulfilled with you, immense love, a lot of gratitude. There's a, a flow of optimism, a flow of positive light energy amongst feeling out in the cold. So they feel isolated, but with you, they feel Im immense understanding, empathy, compassion. You understand the journey that they're going through, the metamorphosis, because you're both going through this together. Teamwork. 
you are working as a team, you're light workers, this is your soul contract, the shared mission, you're on an awakening path, moving into higher dimensions, powerful growth is happening between you both and with you both as individuals. And how else are they feeling? Seduction. This makes me think of Venus and love. They, they feel so drawn to you. This is being seduced by the divine into their highest path. They're, I'm hearing they're in a conundrum right now. But they want to come closer towards you. So if this reading has resonated with you, please let me know in the comments. Give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe. That all really helps me out with the algorithm. Thank you so much for joining me here. Take care. Bye.